Coming up next, we get to this UFC middleweight division fight. There is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, this guy's got some hands on him, DC, and sometimes he takes issue when we call him a boxer because he is an MMA fighter and a well-rounded one at that but it's hard not to lead the dance and lead the walk with the boxing skills that really are off the charts. Yeah, it's unbelievable. So he can be mad, but I would be happy to be called a boxer if I possessed that set of skills, if I had the ability to mix the target as well as he does. When he's most comfortable, when he's flowing, when the head is moving, when it's never on the center line, when he's landing body shots, when he's following that left body shot with that beautiful left hook, that's when he is most dangerous. It's a guy that for all that he can do in the octagon, at the end of the day, he was a boxer first and a fantastic boxer at that when he stepped into the UFC. And don't sell yourself short, you got a pretty good jab. I'm trying, but I'm not this guy. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 178 pounds. Fighting out of Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 178 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Assassin. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so here we are, Madison Square Garden, this arena, not synonymous with winning when it comes to the NBA's New York Knicks, but certainly there have been a lot of big UFC moments here over the last year. No championship for the Knicks, but when we fight here, somebody gets to take home a beautiful gold belt. Tonight, let's see how you perform in the world's greatest arena. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. with that jab attempt. Wow, huge head kick. Oh, straight right. Great punch landed with so much power. Just misses there with the left. Over three minutes to go. Nice defense there. Huge block. Oh, and he gets tagged. 
Nice combination there, and might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just tweak that head off yeah. the center line. He was landing one before, now he's throwing everything in combination, and they're all landing. There's no give on that leg kick. Just missed with the left there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And he landed the right hand there. Not there. Nice, sneaky head kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. the kick and they separate what a body kick big ball punch lands now he gets back to range oh wicked nice leg kick there DC can't take too many of those he's looking to land the right just out of range Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Nice leg kick. Final seconds here. Round two is next. All right, a lot of high level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Right. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Big kick lands. Big head kick lands. Counters with a left. Oh, a huge block there. That is... Man, this dude is good. Oh, big left. Oh, straight right. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Punch coming. It's blocked. He closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. What a punch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Leg kick. 
Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he has taken. Big roundhouse now just misses. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. And they separate. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in the top. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Wow, what a kick. Huge kick lands. Checks the leg kick. in a single collar tie. Look at how he drives his knee. Right into the opponent's mid Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Nice straight punch. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. Lands flush with that right hand. How good is that right hand? Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh man, head kick lands. Straight punch lands. He's got that tight clinch. Looking to counter with his left hand, but he his strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he is trying to chase down that pin. Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. Twenty seconds left. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Let's settle down a little bit. You need to get a little more accurate on those kicks. You need those to land this round. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high. 
and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fight. And they separate. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Connects with a right. Right lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Beautiful head kick. Slips to avoid that left. Oh, and he caught the kick. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Punch over the top. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, that right hand is on point. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Two minutes now to go. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Go for the single. Go for the single. Get the takedown. We need it. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proving prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing allows him to get that technique off. This fight's going to be over. What a great play of victory. Absolutely one for the highlight reel right there. A tremendous kick to spell the end of the night for his opponent and for him, I should say. But just caught him flush, full force, beautiful extension on the kick. And the fight was really over as soon as that one made contact. I'm not even sure he was conscious when he hit the canvas. Outstanding performance here tonight. Once more, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at three minutes, 56 seconds of round number four. We're going to winner by Knockout Assassin. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory. Gracious move like the Gracie brothers. Bro. Do a pay me something. Tell everybody they don't save me nothing. Still back to the phone for fee.